Samsung just got unbagged. They are done with the Galaxy S23 series and it's time to bring all that brilliance to the hottest folding phones of the year, aka the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. We have our first closest look at the Fold 5 and Flip 5's design which shows some amazing new changes. Let's start with the Galaxy Z Flip 5 which hands down has the biggest design change. We now have a massive near 3.1 inch screen on the back which is in square form that pretty much covers a large part of that top area. We don't know the actual resolution info of this display but it's gonna be very sharp and it's indeed a massive change that was needed to happen. Since I personally experienced the larger outer screen of the Oppo Flip N2, this new big screen of the Flip 5 is gonna bring a massive massive difference to the user experience. As usual, Samsung will be tuning up the One UI software to take advantage of that new big outer screen. As for the front, Samsung is narrowing down those bezels so it's gonna look a lot cleaner than the Z Flip 4. Now coming to the Z Fold 5's design is pretty much rocking the same look, same screen sizes and aspect ratios as the Z Fold 4 but now with the new water droplet hinge design which by the way it's also coming to the Flip 5, it's gonna make these folding phones to have a completely gapless look when they are closed. It will also make both Z Fold 5 and Flip 5 lighter than last year's model. Apparently Z Fold 5 is only 254 grams compared to 263 grams of the Fold 4. Thanks to this new hinge, they're also getting thinner as well. The main difference between the Fold 4 and the Fold 5 will not gonna be in terms of look, but majorly gonna come down to the in-hand feel. I'm not gonna lie, I really really wanted to see a wider outer screen on the Fold 5, but sadly, that may not happen. Now Samsung is applying a new touchscreen technology to both folding screens, which is very interesting. Will that eliminate the crease on the display? only time can tell. Now looking at the cameras, the Z Flip 5 will be getting a brand new 12 megapixel sensor, so it's gonna be a solid sensor, but this means that the Flip 5 won't be able to shoot 8K videos because there are no high megapixels. The Fold 5 is set to retain the same camera as the Fold 4 and the Galaxy S23 slash S23 Plus, which is the 50 megapixel ISOCELL GN5, but the good thing now is that thanks to Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, we will see true 8K 30fps video on the Fold 5 for the first time. Samsung might also update that ultra wide angle lens on both Z Flip 5 and the Fold 5 to allow for 4K 60fps recording. And once again, the chip inside these phones will be identical to the one inside the Galaxy S23 series, which is the 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy, an overclock version that we don't see on other phones. Samsung made sure that they're using the same grade chip on both of their folding and their Galaxy S series phones so that everything is in line. Overall, I think the Z Flip 5 looks really really good. I think it's gonna be my favorite flip phone. As for the Z Fold 5, again, no wider outer screen means it's gonna be a challenge because we're gonna have the Pixel Fold coming out very soon that will offer a wider outer screen as well as a really good trusty software. But let me know what you think about the leaked design of the Fold 5 and the Flip 5 based on the latest rumors. The unpacked will take place in the month of August, very likely in New York, according to the latest up-to-date news. Again, I'll keep you guys updated with everything that's gonna come out, so make sure you subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.